welcome back to the Browse Bunch or welcome if you're new here, I'm Courtney. We've got a grocery haul this week for you. And if you were looking for me in the What's For Dinner video on Friday, I apologize. It just felt like a crazy week. I don't even think we did that much. It just felt crazy, if you know what I mean. So I didn't get around to actually cooking all of the meals for that video. We did cook twice and then other than that, I think we just kind of did fend for yourself meals and just throw what we can find together. And the rest of them got pushed to the side and we used it for other stuff, I guess, or um, I'm rolling it over like tonight. I'm making broccoli and cheese soup that I was supposed to make last week, but I will be back this Friday with the What's For Dinner video in case you were wondering. Um, today though, we've got a Walmart grocery haul and Travis actually did the grocery shopping and took Grant along with him. So that's gonna be kind of interesting. We kind of blew the budget. I think everything he got was $179 and only one thing wasn't groceries. And then he did pretty good. I always think it's kind of fun when Travis goes and does the grocery shopping because I never know what he's gonna come home with, but um, he got some goodies. <laughs> and there was only one thing that he couldn't find and that was like the canned chicken that I use for my chicken salad. So he did pretty good. Excuse my appearance, I've not gotten ready today. I just threw up my hair in a braid really quick before doing this video and put on some chapstick. Um, we're just kind of having a lazy day and chilling as a family. I think we're gonna put up the Christmas tree in a little bit. So we're just gonna have fun together as a family today, but I will be sharing all of these groceries here in just a second. And then at the end, I will share the meal plan. So this is everything that they came home with. And usually I have this tray moved out of the way, but I kind of wanted to show you these flowers and I just didn't feel like moving it out of the way. We're doing a little cross between, getting rid of the rest of our fall stuff and then setting up for Christmas. But I got some of these flowers at a local um, little flower shop that we have where you can build your own bouquet. And I just think they are so pretty. A little more of the fall look still, but I really love them. And I've always wanted to make my own bouquet like this. So I thought it was fun. And then we got Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus on here. Just thought I'd show you that. And then the Christmas tree tablecloth under here. So first thing we got is a five pound bag of russet potatoes. We're gonna do like a little mini Thanksgiving meal. Um, just one night this week, just for the heck of it. And so I'm gonna do some mashed potatoes in the crock pot. I think those will be yummy. Then we got some more ready bacon. We've been really actually loving this for just quick breakfast in the mornings. Porter really likes bacon. And then also when like recipes call for bacon and I don't feel like, you know, like the crumble bacon and stuff and I just don't feel like cooking up a bunch of it first, this is really, really handy for that kind of thing. Then they got some waffles, the home style ones. And then I think Grant picked out these blue, blue raspberry mermaid waffles because they look fun. Who wouldn't want those? Then as usual, a three pound bag of the Honeycrisp apples. We literally have one left. And then some grapes, which the boys like. And then I also put in my chicken salad. Two pizzas for pizza night this week. I usually do get the brick oven ones, but they came home with the classic crust ones. So we've got the pepperoni and just a regular four cheese one two pack of cream cheese. This one was not on the list. One of the things that it came home with was the Reese's peanut butter flavored cupcakes and I am not mad about it. <laughs> got some fettuccine noodles, rotini noodles. Got two things at the Classico Alfredo. This is the kind that I really like, the roasted garlic. That's actually gonna be for a crock pot meal that I'm gonna make. We've got some goldfish, french fried onions, some more of those. And then I've really been loving these sharp white cheddar cheese it's lately, the grooves kind. They're really, really good. Got some mini croissants because I love it with the chicken salad. Then he got a gallon of chocolate milk and a half gallon of milk. We were getting like a gallon or two of regular milk and then doing this quick, but we've gotten kind of lazy the last week or two and we've just been doing this and then they still drink this with like cereal and stuff. We were completely out of green beans, so we went ahead and got a four pack of the Del Monte green beans. I was getting the Walmart kind, but I really do like the Del Monte ones. And then also for those smothered green beans that I've been making, like I've literally made those so many times, I get the Allen's ones for that. But these are mainly gonna be for some green bean casserole. <laughs> got some chili cheese Fritos for a recipe, then some chopped pecans will be for the chicken salad. I think I've actually shared my chicken salad recipe before in like a what's for lunch video. If you want me to link that down below, I can. I didn't have this on the list, but Travis said we were out of garlic salt, so he picked up some of that. Then some more of his little French vanilla cappuccino that he's been loving. A loaf of bread. And then I actually did have one Reese on the um, list for him to pick up for me. And he's awesome and got the six count of the big cups. 
the one item that is not groceries. We were out of batteries, AA batteries, so we got a pack of those. I did get like a couple little cute Christmas trees at Kirkland's yesterday that um, are going out on the front porch and they take like three AA's a piece. And then the boys have already gotten into this. Travis picked this up because Grant was good in the store apparently. And he said that he got that for all of us to share. Got some celery just to have for snacks and eat with lunch and stuff. And then also I like to put a little bit into my chicken salad for an extra crunch. They got this Go-Gurt, the Sour Patch Kids. I can't imagine that tasting good at all, but I'm sure they'll love it. A red onion, red pepper. Travis got some yum yum sauce. He wants to like experiment and make his own hibachi, I guess, sometime. And then some honey mustard sauce because we're about out of that. Some Hormel chili with no beans. A crescent dough sheet. I have one in the fridge. And then we also got some sausage and the cream cheese to make my favorite breakfast dish. It's like the, um, you just do like the crescent dough on the bottom and then mix the sausage with cream cheese and then some cheddar cheese on top of that and then another dough sheet on top of that. It is so, so good. Grant picked out some Honey Nut Cheerios, so we got a box of those. Then we needed some more Nutella, some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese for sandwiches. He got the large size flour tortillas, and then we did get some butter taste biscuits finally, the frozen ones, but they have a slit in it, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I guess we probably should take those back, I don't know. Um, I'm sure they just got cut open when they were opening the box or something. We got some lettuce, the romaine hearts, and then Travis got some Dr. Nuff, the red kind. He loves those. You know, I'm just realizing I don't even think that everybody has Dr. Nuff where they are. I'm pretty sure Cracker Barrel carries it now, though, as something that you can get. But this has always been around where we're at in Tennessee. And then we got some Sprites, the little cans of those. Some boiled eggs. Y'all know I love this cheat way of making deviled eggs, just buying the bag of already boiled ones. And then we needed some sour cream, so we went ahead and picked up two of those and the sausage that I already mentioned. Then some meatballs. This is going to be for some crockpot meatballs that we really like. I've already got all the other ingredients to go along with it, though. And then for our little mini Thanksgiving, this is my favorite kind of ham to get. It's the brown sugar double glazed ham. Super easy to make. It's got like the little pack of the seasoning and everything already. So we got one of those. It's so, so good. Even left over, it's almost even better. And then the last thing that we got was some s'mores cereal. We haven't gotten this in a while and it is very, very tasty. So now let me show you the meal plan. So here is the meal plan. When I was writing this down, I actually got Sunday and Monday mixed up because Sunday's when I start my thing, but on here, Monday's when it starts. So, well, we're actually gonna do takeout for lunch and then tonight we decided to do broccoli and cheese soup and then Monday we'll do the mini Thanksgiving meal. Tuesday, we're gonna do chicken wraps, keeping it easy. But I'm just now realizing that the grilled chicken that I had on the list is not in that grocery haul either. So I'll just pick that up when I get the canned chicken, I guess. No big deal. Wednesday, we're going to do chili cheese quesadillas and some pasta salad. Thursday is going to be a crockpot meal. Friday is pizza night. Saturday is going to be another crockpot meal. It's like this garlicky Alfredo chicken. It sounds really good. So that's the meal plan for this week. I'd love to hear what y'all have cooking up this week at your house. Let me know in the comments down below, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.